Hi everybody, um, hope you're well. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, those of you that have. I, I've got a list of people here that I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to miss some off, I know, because there are hundreds, but Ron, Jeff, Colin, Lisa, Hezekiah, Bob, Gordon, John. Um, you've all asked questions about one thing or another, and I'm going to try and answer them all um, as we go along. But a general thing is a lot of people ask about um, 10 years after and how we recorded. So what I thought I'd do today is I'll, I'll take a song, a um, very popular song actually in America and other parts of the world, a song from the UK, funnily enough, and that's um, a song called I'd Love to Change the World, which I think was probably the best song Alvin's ever written. And we recorded that after a recording session when Rick and Chick had gone home, Alvin playing me the song on acoustic guitar, and uh, we tracked it that way. Uh, Another interesting bit about the recording session is for some reason or other I played it on a Rickenbacker bass which is probably the only song I can recall ever having played Rickenbacker bass on. Uh, no reason whatsoever, it's just I've got a Rickenbacker bass, I like the looks of them, I like the way that Paul McCartney's bass sounded and uh, I gave it a go and we, we tried that song and it was a, a, a huge hit in America and other parts of the world and it's it's in movies today and it's it's played most of the time. Um, the other funny thing about it was that um, Alvin would never play it live. Um, he felt that it was too poppy, he made all sorts of excuses but it, his main reason was he didn't want to be a pop star. So there goes my phone. Um, but anyway, let's give this song a go. What, what I've done is I'm going to play the track and I'm going to play along with the track. And um, so you can hear the bass, so that those those people that ask me how the bass, what the bass part's like, that's the idea. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. Um, that was it. I hope you heard it. I think I got it right. It's we still uh, with hundred seventy split. In actual fact, we do play it um, now, and I think I play it pretty much the same. Just probably slightly differently with different people. But I check out Joe Gooch, guitarist Joe Gooch is playing on that on the hundred seventy split version. It's I think it's available on the Woodstock '69 live CD that we did. Um, Joe's a great player. If you haven't heard him, haven't checked him out, check him out on that. Um, he does some great stuff, really good stuff. So I said that was um, that was a very popular song for ten years after. Still is today. People people generally know ten years after by um, you know I'm going home or I'd love to change the world. Those are the two things you hear on. Uh, Sirius FM or all those radio stations that you get. Anyway, take care, um, have fun, stay safe and enjoy your playing. And um, for those of you that asked um, about, you know, what, were the what was the bass on that? There you go. It was something like that. Um, take care. Speak to you soon.